I'm Edie Lash. I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio. It's 2020 in Davos. Really pleased to be joined by Naval Roy, founder and CEO of Holmosk. Thanks very much for coming along. My pleasure. So you think a lot about mental health. Yes. Tell me why that is. So mental health, in my view, is the cancer of tomorrow. It is probably one of the largest problems that we are facing if you look at five or ten years fast hmm. forward. And it is in such an early stage of fully understanding it and literally creating a full treatment protocol around it. And hence, uh, it's our approach to be ready for it in the coming years. And what do you do about it? Because you are a data-driven company. And tell yes. me how you think you can help analyze and and help the treatment of mental health issues. Yes, so uh, what we call ourselves is we are building one of the largest real world evidence platform mm -hmm. in which by we take the data from the real world and convert them to objective evidence which can be used for scientific purposes as well as clinical purposes. In simple terms, what we are trying to do is there is a high degree of trial and error that goes into a treatment of a mental health patient, mm. say even depression. Okay, a typical patient goes through almost 10 to 12 different medication over 15 months time mm. and then converges towards one or two medication. What we are trying to do is by looking at the past history of the patient, we can literally minimize that trial and error, both mm. the medication as well as the time of duration by which it is being done. Okay, and the reverse mm. of this is also a equally large problem, which is by pharma. Mm -hmm. Getting the right medicine to the right audience is a huge pharmaceutical problem, mm. you know. And in mental health is much bigger problem than compared to other therapeutic area. And hence we are trying to solve, which are both mirror image of the same problem, but we are trying to solve that problem for both sides. And how much success have you had? So far, it's survival of five years. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll say. No, it has been great. Uh, we have been working with some of the very elite institutions all across the world. We have six offices. 55 people day in day out uh, and our ambition is only getting more and more emboldened around it so i think we are on the right path why do you say that mental health is the um, is the cancer of tomorrow why is it why do you see it getting worse so look at the burden of disease if you look at the burden of disease mental health is probably the largest you know mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> that is out there maybe after cancer you know, if you look at the drug pipeline, drug pipeline is probably cancer is around $125 billion. Just after that is mental health, you know. And if you look at the whole spectrum of how it is influencing every component of the society, you know, from a stress to anxiety to depression to, you know, Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and what have you, if you combine all of that, you really find that this is a problem that will literally bankrupt most of the largest economy in the world wow. if we don't pay attention to it. Wow. Now, well, thank you very much for stopping by Hub Culture. I really appreciate your time. My pleasure. I'm Edie Lash.